wonder who Speak did your this. Oi! Watch it! Ever vigilant. Ah, there you are. Arthur told me of your arrival. I'd stand up to greet you, but I'm too busy with my work, as you can see. I am Percival, Head of Communications at Camelot. This is my personal office. Quite beautiful, no? What you see here is the result of hard work, perseverance, and my genius idea of stealing the BBM storage key after I quit my job. Now, whatever happens, we have got their bloody equipment, and they have not. Words of encouragement, valiant speeches straight from Arthur's mouth, and near constant reminders of what the gentry has taken from us. Or, as the layman calls it, propaganda. Help, yes. Any assistance is much appreciated. You see, one of my duties is to keep in contact with all of the fractured factions in this great nation of ours. Partly to offer assistance, and partly to stop them from getting any bright ideas about assisting the other side. I've been in conversation with a strange tribe based in Brickton, and they are not happy with how these devious Tommies have been treating them. I, for one, can't stand to see oppression especially when the oppressed have agreed to oust the Tommies in favour of Camelot protection. We stand to gain much more than mere tickets from this exchange. If we can show the people that Camelot stands for democracy and freedom, then it's only a matter of time before others follow in this tribe's footsteps. And if we can do it while kicking the Tommies in their righteous fannies, well... That's a win-win, isn't it? My heart bleeds for all those who live under tyranny. <laughs> Especially those who can develop into key strategic alliances. They don't like anything made after 1922, for one. They believe the Great War was a sign from the spirits that we should all return to living in huts. I believe any man, woman or child, should be free to live life as they desire, even if that means wiping their asses with sticks and stones. As expected of the gentry's foot soldiers, the Tommies see the tribe's quirky and strange beliefs as signs of savagery. Take their town's name, for example. Instead of referring to it as Brickton, the way the tribes have taken to calling it, the Tommies insist on referring to it as Brixton. They believe the Tommies are there to civilize them. I believe this is our chance to show the Tommies what civilization truly means. I can see now why you caught Arthur's keen eye. I want you to go to Brixton and find Roach, the tribe's leader. He is a strange man, but you must treat him with utmost respect. He has a plan on how to push the Tommies away, help him return to me, and then perhaps you'll find yourself within Camelot's highest ranks. As expected of the gentry, take their towns, they believe that... They don't like anything made after night, I believe. Good luck. Patience is key, for the quest continues. I humbly welcome you back to the land of Brickton. I had a feeling our fates would align once again. Mother Earth told me so. But I do wish our paths crossed once more under a kinder moon. For this one is littered with cunning and secrecy. Now, me and my fellow tribesmen have come up with three simple tasks. They'll agitate the Tommies and push them out of our land. 
without the need for violence. First, you shall poison their ration supplies with these laxatives. Then, you shall destroy the generator that's powering their turrets. And finally, you'll spread rumors about the man leading this battalion, the dreadful Lieutenant Doyle. Fulfill these three tasks, and soon Camelot will have an ally in Brigton. We are not invested in Arthur's dream of a united London, writhing under his benevolent thumb. We simply wish to be left alone. And unfortunately, the only one willing to grant us that wish was Arthur. Fear makes companions of us all. Watch your step. I see strange storm clouds in your horizon. I wish I could meet the Queen. In the gap and all that. about Lieutenant Doyle. <clears throat> I mean, yes, I don't quite enjoy his methods and the way he constantly doles out surprise inspections whenever he feels like it. But it is not my place to comment on these things. Really? What is it? What? That can't be true. He promised to stay with us until the Brixton mission was done. Then again, he's always spoken poorly about our performance. And his disdain for Brixton is hard to miss. Thank you for sharing, but I need to tell my mates about this. Roll, Britannia. Britannia, roll the waves. Britons never, never, never shall be slaves. for something to give you a little boost. Yeah.
the earth trembles at your mighty footsteps. Has the great work begun? I've seen the fruits of your labor. Tommy's whispering rumors in between hurried trips to the loo and feeble attempts to fix their machines. For our next step, we're going after Major Sneed, a man who craves the city's crippling comforts, which is my way of saying that whenever he's here, he's always on the edge of giving up. Soon he'll be arriving in Brickton for his annual checkup, an affair he dreads with every passing winter. Through your handiwork, we're going to give him the little push he needs. First, you will spread anti-sneed graffiti around his beloved outpost. Then, you will set fire to a pile of precious cow manure and create a foul smell over Brickton. And, finally, you will spread rumors about our dear Major. Farewell. Good luck. Tread lightly. Oh, how I wish we could stay like this forever. Strange storm clouds in your horizon. Be careful. I know you're watching me! I like to say that sometimes, just to mess with whoever might be watching. You'd have to be insane to take on the Tommies. You're back! I told all of my mates at the barracks about you. We knew there was something strange about Doyle. Absolutely not. My feelings about Sneed are all positive. <coughs> I don't like his attitude, though. Every time he comes to survey us, he complains about the sorry state of Brixton. That's not our fault. Uh, Brixton. Well, go on then. Tell me. I'll leave. Who does he think he is? We need that time. They promised us they wouldn't cut our leave. Thank you for telling me the truth. Now it's my turn to go and share it. God save our gracious queen. Long live our noble queen.
Oh, how I wish we could stay like this forever. The earth trembles at your mighty footsteps. There goes your labors. Yes, the fruits of your labor fill the air. Be it the sweet scent of manure, or even the sweeter sound of Sneedly insults. Laura, what's wrong? It's Sneed. He's arrived at the gate and he's most unhappy. Is that so? Wayfarer, go with Laura. See what you can learn and what we can use. Yes, sir. My apologies, sir. I assigned you here to civilize these savages and to teach them the ways of our society. And what do I find? One of you Mind the gap and all that. in laxatives with your rations, and now the toilets are filled to the brim with dung. Your generators have been sabotaged under your very eyes, and now the entire outpost is without electricity. I've heard disrespectful soldiers whispering nasty words about your great Lieutenant Doyle. Some I wish I could make has a queen. Plastered uncivil words about me upon the outpost's walls. Soldiers have been asking me about baseless rumors, the origin of which puzzles and annoys me. The entire outpost smells like cow shite, no matter where you bloody are. And if that wasn't enough, now my precious wagon, filled with all of my necessities, is roll stuck Britannia. on the path Britannia, to this roll the way. forsaken place. Britons never, never, that is why never all of shall you are be now slaves. On clean up duty, and if I hear one word about it, I swear I'll send this entire outpost to the pits. Dismissed. Sir, yes, sir. You heard your superior officer. Move it, move it, move it! You... You should tell Roach about this. I'll keep watch. I know you're watching me!
Only the canyon's fiercest sentry, defender of her blessed land, a modern day legend, devised by yours truly. I'm sorry, what did you say? I'm a trifle deaf in this year. Go forth, Shadow. Oh, how I wish we could stay like this forever. I'm sure we'll find a use for that sometime. This area business is all for bad the cold steel of justice. The Major told us about you lot. Think you can just throw your wads around and get us to kowtow, eh? Not us. Not me and Goose. We're proper soldiers. Trained. Distinguished. Very, very expensive. One thousand tickets and we'll look the other way. No questions asked. Nah, pleasure doing business with you. Come on, Goose. Time for us to go. devil are you? And why are you not marching up and down this outpost like I told you all to do? Whipping this den of savagery and depravity into a proper British outpost. I'd ask you what you are doing here, but clearly the answer is annoying me. How about I try using my boot up your disrespectful ass, soldier? I'll demote you faster than you can think. I come from a long line of soldiers, nearly 400 years worth, dating back to the Sneeds from Lanark and the Westbridges in Devon. But more than that, I didn't spend any of my damn time asking my superior officers all these inane questions. 
fixed and what? Give me that. My God, I knew it. These people are barbarians. Well, if they'd rather live in the filth and crime, so be it. I won't waste my time civilizing them no more. Lieutenant Doyle, come here at once. Yes, sir. You'd have to be insane to take on the Tommies. I've had enough of this place. By the power invested in me, I am officially ordering the full and total abandonment of the godforsaken town of Brixton. Thank God, sir. I'll be happy to never see this place ever again in my life. You and me, Doyle. You and me. May these people rot in the rat-infested hell of their own creation. We'll leave that fellow Woodward here. He's basically God native at this point anyway. Queen. Now, Long live our let's noble get the queen. hell out of here. Sir. Yes, sir. I can over. think of no better At reward last, for your work than 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 my is finally skull. over. Fashioned out of bones, Tom's are gone. from the canyon and it's all thanks to your best efforts. Not only as a charm, but a symbol, a representation of our enduring love for you, Wayfarer. Now go, and may the canyon watch you on your future endeavors. Hail, Sergeant. If it isn't the Brickton Shadow. <laughs> That's what the folks back in Brixton are calling you. I heard the news over an encrypted radio frequency. Here, good pay for good work. Just don't let it get to your head. And we have much work ahead of us. Hurry on back to Merlin. And tell him to send the troops so they can occupy Brixton. Only one casualty. Excellent. Ah, poor phrasing. Tragic. Who was it? Yes, sir. So, you're the one I have to thank for Brickton. Hmm? Fine work you did. You must tell me about this shadow business one of these days. But for now, there are more pressing concerns. Your rank. Sergeant is no befitting title for one who takes out an outpost single-handedly. From this day forth, shall hold the rank of knight. May you honor it well in these coming endeavors. Knight, I require your services.